breaking news welcome to today's headlines this is not a fulani republic bishop david oyedepo this is not a fulani republic bishop david oyedepo speaks to my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from please stay still as I read today's news. No tribe can claim ownership of Nigeria. We hold this nation together. Cursed be the Fulani Etman, except I am not serving God. This is your season of judgment. Everyone back in you hope comes under judgment now. For every innocent blood shed by this angel of devil, their generations will never recover. Everyone that won't let peace reign in Nigeria goes down. No tribe can claim ownership of Nigeria. We hold this nation together. Cursed be the Fulani Etman, except I'm not serving God. This is your season of judgment. Everyone backing you up comes under judgment now. For every innocent blood shed by these agents of devil, their generations will never recover. Everyone that won't let peace reign in Nigeria gets down. No tribe can claim ownership of Nigeria. We hold this nation together. Caused be the Fulani Etman, except I am not serving God. This is your season of judgment. Everyone back in your hope comes under judgment now. For every innocent blood shed by these agents of devil, their generations will never recover. Everyone that won't let peace reign in Nigeria goes down. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, now we've come to the end of our today's news and now before i go this is my question to my dear listeners i want to know where it is written in the nigerian constitution that a particular tribe should be claiming a nation and when they are not given the authority to claim the nation they should start killing people but is that the problem Is that the problem that these people are sending themselves if it is not a sieve that some people backing them up? Because I never thought of where would um, Fulani Etman, those illiterate, even those who can't operate bombs, those who can't those who doesn't go to school can operate bomb actually. Those who doesn't go to school operate guns. That means they have been teaching them. They have been lecturing them on how to do these things. If the um if um how can I put it? Um if the strength they are using to teach all these people is this same kind of strength they are using for Nigeria to get better. I believe by now Nigeria will be in a better position. I believe by now we will have a good hospitals, we will have a good road. Academically, our children will be hooky. They would have a good infrastructure in whole state. Can any of them send their own children to public schools? They claim they are paying their teachers. Can any of them send their children to any of these Nigerian hospitals for them to go and receive treatment? Even the president of the nation? Whenever he's sick, he's been, he's been flat out to go and receive a treatment. Is this a better nation? 
what happens to the hospital at the Asorok. Even most, it happens to our governors here too, governors of the state. Whenever they are sick, they have been flight out. What is left for the citizens? What is left for the citizens who doesn't have money to fly out to receive treatment? There are many people at the, at the big, big hospitals there like UCH and all that, general hospitals, which they do not have money to take good care of themselves. The government are not doing anything. Then why do we vote for these people? Then why do we vote for these people? And what they choose to do now is to give full any money, order them to enter a particular region, kill them. What pleasure do, 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 do they derive in doing such to the citizens of this country? Because personally, I see it as, um, as an act of wickedness. It is, a, it is a very dastardly act when you send people, and the people you send to does not even have the conscience. Even do I even blame them? They do not go to school. They do not have work. So once they see another opportunity of getting money, we know like Betata, when you are being offered one million to kill two people, then you thought of when you killed four people, your money would double up. And when your instincts do not tell you you are killing a human of yourself, you are killing your partner, you are killing a human being as well, then you don't know that what they are doing is dastardly. You don't know that what they are doing, they are sending you to your people to kill your people. What is that done? And when you kill everybody, everyone finish, then who will you rule? Then you start killing yourself as well. Because by then you realize there is no one you, 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 you can rule upon. Then you start killing yourselves too. Um, to my dear listeners, I've come to the end of our today's news, but let's, I think I have a few comments here. The first comment here says, Whom a closed mind will never see beyond the eyes. A true man of God and fisher of men preaches no hatred for a particular tribe but love. Yes, there are bad Fulanis, but very few, as there are bad Yorubas and another tribe in this country called Nigeria. Another comment, which is my last comment here, says Bishop David Oyedepo. If we have pastors like you and Bishop Kuka, Nigeria would have been freed from Fulani government. Hmm. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let's